Welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create and apply styles. First of all, we need to understand what are styles. A style is a set of formats that you can apply to selected pages, text, frames and other elements. When you apply a style, you apply a whole group of formats at the same time. Let us understand what does this mean. I write hello over here. So what I do, I just select it and double click on my style. This is a style. Imagine if I have to create this style, I have to go through a number of steps. For example, this is step number one. Then I have to set the style to 40. I make it bold. I have to choose a color for it. And I have to apply some background. So I have to go through a lot of steps, but this styles and formatting window has grouped number of steps for formatting in one. This is the benefit of styles. Now, how we can open up styles and formatting window? There are three methods. The first one is from formatting toolbar so this is my formatting toolbar and this is the button when you click on this button this styles and formatting window will open up from format menu so what we can do we can go to format menu and from here we can select it and our menu will open up and the last one is by f11 key so if you look at this it also says f11 and it also says f11 so what i do i just simply click f11 from my keyboard it will come up so these are the three methods through which you can get your styles and formatting window. What are the type of styles which you can apply in OpenOffice Writer? The first one is page style and second one is paragraph style. Third is character style. Fourth is frame style and fifth is numbering style. Let us discuss them one by one. So if you look at this window, it says paragraph styles. So this list various paragraph styles. Then we have this character style, which again list styles, which we can apply on various characters. This list frame styles. This is listing your uh, page styles and this is list style. So if I, for example, if I click on any of these, they just change the style of my page, right? You can create your own styles also, but we will learn about them one by one in the coming video. Then this is a character style. So whatever you have written, this character style is used for that. You can select your area and then you just have to click on it and it changes according to whatever you are doing. Then we have this frame styles. This frame styles can be applied to uh, various things. Then we have this page style. For example, if I convert it to envelope, I just have to reduce the size to show you that. Uh, default is this and when you click on this, it converts into envelope. 
similarly we have various list styles which you can apply if you have a list for example if i click on that it is going to create a list for you and you can create a list according to whatever you require so when i click on this it just changes the style of the list you can set it according to whatever you require we will learn more about them later on so coming back how we can create new styles there are again three methods to create new style one is from style and formatting window second is from selection and third is by drag and drop so we are going to learn them one by one in your uh, formatting styles and formatting window what you what you need to do is you just right click on it and if you look at these two options you just have to click on new it will ask you that what is the name of your new style right so let me call it my style 2 i just call it my style 2 right uh, you need not to change this then you come to font choose whatever font you feel like you just have to do all the settings whatever settings this is a preview of what is happening right how your font will or your characters will look like you just have you can change whatever you want to change for example you want to change the color i just set it to green color if you want a shadow you can also set a shadow right there are other things which you can experiment with for example this okay so underline if you want to underline it and if you want to set a underlining color you can also do that so i don't require it so i just disable it position whatever you want to do with it you can do with it similarly background i just want a yellow background okay and just say okay so what has happened if you look at this this is my style one this is my style two so what i do i just select it and double click on it right so that style is applied so this is the method one that how you can create a new style right and uh, another method which we need to discuss is the method number two from selection so what is from selection method sometimes it do happen we create some format over here for example if i write something i say world right and i just make certain changes in that i just select it and i just want this to be this okay and i just reduce the size i don't want it to be italic uh, i just change some background color uh, again background color i just want to make it this right so this is what my new style is so i want to save this style so what i can do i just have to select it and then i say new style from selection so when i do it again it will ask me the name so you can name it anything whatever you feel like so i just name it my style 3 right and say okay so this is now saved so what will happen that i just go to default set and say uh, how are you and for that i just want you to apply my new style so what i will do i just have to select it and then i will double click on it so this is how you can save or create a new style from selection and the last one is by drag and drop method so how we can do that again i just go to default and say hello and now i'm creating one more style right so i just choose this and 
I choose some bigger font I make it bold I just give it a color for example red color and background some yellow color okay so this is my new style what you can do is you just select it and drag it with your mouse on the empty space the moment you will do it it will ask you the name so i write the name my style 4 so now i say okay right so and again a new style is created right so there are three methods to create a new style from styles and formatting window from selection and by drag and drop method we have already learned that how we can create new styles now we will learn that how we can modify existing styles there are three methods to do that so we will discuss them one by one the first method is from styles and formatting window let us see that how we can do that these are the styles right so i am going to modify a style this is my style number one and i have used the same style over here also when i modify the style it will also modify the characters and the styles of those characters where that style is applied let us understand that now to modify this style what you need to do is you select the style and right click on it and click modify i just going to change the color just to make you understand that how it will work uh, let me choose a color for example i choose this color orange and i just set the background to for it and say okay you see wherever that style was applied it has changed this is the first method this is using styles and formatting window you just need to right click and choose modify there is another method that is from selection so now we will learn that how we can update style using selection so what do you need to do is select your style make the modification in that style for example i don't want it bold and i just want to change some color now what you need to do is you just go over here and say update style so this my style number one has been updated with the help of selection the third one is load or copy style from another document or template see i do have three styles in this particular document okay now if i open up a new document you won't find these styles over there what happens that whenever you save a file for example i save this file these styles are saved with that document now if i wanted to reuse these styles in this document what i can do i just have to go over here and say load styles and in the load styles i will choose from file now i will locate my file my file name was file with styles and i just select it and say open the moment i will do that you see these three styles are loaded over here this is how you can load styles from a file we have seen that how we can modify styles now we will learn that how we can apply styles the first method is from style and formatting window so here i have some text so what you need to do is using this style and formatting window 
you highlight the area and double click on the style and that style will be applied this way you can select any area and apply the style by double clicking on it another method is using fill format mode this is fill format mode you click on this icon and the selected style can be applied by selecting the text you can select anything and you just need to select that portion so this is how you can apply styles thanks for now see you in the next video